Hi everyone, welcome. Today we are going to be doing a short 15 minute core strength flow. This is just a short preview of the full core strength flow that is going to be in my new program that is specifically designed to help dancers with their strength and flexibility. Sign up for my newsletter in the description so you don't miss out on any updates on when this program is going to launch. Now get ready to fire up that core and meet me on your mat. Okay, so we're gonna start in Sukhasana or an easy pose. We'll have our hands resting on top of our knees. We'll just gently close our eyes, start to tune into our breath. Throughout this entire practice, we really wanna focus on our breath and that it's coming from deep within. We wanna make sure that our shoulders are not rising up and down with each breath, that it is truly coming deep from within the stomach. So go ahead and take a few deep breaths now. In through the nose and exhale through the nose. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now you can open your eyes and we're going to start with some seated cat cow. So on an inhale, expand, reach up to the sky, arching your back, looking up, exhale, round the spine, gaze goes towards the belly, tracking the tailbone, inhale, arch the back, spread the collarbone, gaze goes up, exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, gaze goes towards the belly. One more time, inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round the spine. Come back to neutral. Inhale, raise your left arm up. Exhale, take a side bend, stretching through that left side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the left. We'll flow through this two more times. Inhale up. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, up center. Exhale, to the left. Last time, inhale up, exhale, reaching to the right, inhale, back to center, exhale, reaching to the left, inhale at the top, exhale, take a twist, right hand goes right behind the spine, left hand goes to right knee, on an inhale, lengthen your spine up, on an exhale, twist deeper into the stretch. Gaze goes over the right shoulder if that's comfortable for you. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left. Right hand goes to left knee. Left hand goes right behind the spine. On an inhale, lengthen the spine. On an exhale, twist deeper. We'll pull through that two more times. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. It's important to warm up the body before we start doing the work. Inhale, exhale, twist. Last time, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, left to center. Exhale, press our arms down. Now we're going to swing our legs over so that we're a long ways on the mat, and we're going to come into boat pose. So you can leave your hands on the mat if you wish. We're going to lean our spine back, engage our abdominals, lifting one leg off and the other, keeping our shins parallel to the mat. Now you can stay here, or you can lift one arm off, or you can lift both arms off. If this is enough of a challenge for you, that's okay, stay right here. If you need more, you can straighten one leg or both. We're really squeezing our inner thighs together, wrapping our abdominals around, keeping those engaged. We'll stay here for three more breaths. Two, one, and slowly lower all the way onto your mat. Good, bend your knees, place the 
soles of your feet on the mat, pressing our arms into the mat, pressing our feet into the mat, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips up into ridge pose. Here we're warming up the backs of our legs. Really squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings. Stay here for three more breaths. Two. And one. Slowly lower all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. Now we're going to rock up. Cross your ankles. Shift your weight through. Rearrange yourself on the mat if you need. And we'll come into tabletop pose. So, hands right underneath shoulders, knees right underneath hips. We're going to tuck our back toes, engage our abdominals again, lift our knees up off of the mat, and hold here. This, we're engaging everything. We're fighting off our legs, our arms, our shoulders, our core. It's a great way to warm up. Stay here for three more breaths. Two, and one. Good, lower the knees back onto the mat. Untuck the toes. Now we're going to come into a little bit of a flow. So we'll lift our left leg off the mat. And if this is enough, you can stay here. Or lift your right hand up off the mat. If this is enough of a challenge, stay here. If you need a little bit more, go ahead and flow with me. So we're reaching out on an inhale. Exhale, curl everything together. Right elbow to left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Now reach your right arm up, bending your left knee, grabbing your left foot if it's accessible, and extending. Up. Lifting your gaze up towards the ceiling if that's comfortable for you. Or if not, you can keep it down at the mat, or I would suggest out in front of you at a single point. Inhale one more time. Exhale, release that. Place your hand back down onto the mat, place your knee back down. And we'll go into the left side. So lifting our right foot up off the mat, stretching your knee behind us, lifting your left arm up. And if this is enough, you can stay here. Or if you need more, flow with me. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Left elbow to right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl everything together. Inhale, lengthen. Reach around, grab your foot. And extend out, pressing your foot into your left hand, stretching your quad, your hip flexor, your shoulder while also working on balance and core stability. One more inhale here. Exhale, reach long and bring everything back down to the mat. Good. Go ahead and tuck the back toes, engage your core, lift your knees up, take a breath here. On an exhale, lift your hips, press your heels back into downward facing dog. Good. Feel free to pedal your feet out here for a minute. Get all those crackalackins and ankle pops out. And press both heels into the mat. And breathe. On an inhale, gaze forward towards the front of your mat, looking at the the mat in between your palms of your hands. Rising up on your toes, bend your knees. Take a step or hop to your hands and coming into forward fold. On an inhale, lengthen the spine, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, grounding through, reaching our arms up to the sky and pulling into heart center. Taking a breath here. Reminding ourselves of the breath and the importance of it and how it brings life and energy into our movement. On an inhale, reach your arms up to the sky 
On an exhale, swan dive forward. Hands come to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now we're going to take our right foot and step it to the back of the mat. You may need to adjust your front leg a little bit. And drop your right knee down. Lifting up into low lunge, clasping our hands above our head. Inhale for length. Exhale, we'll take a side bend to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take a slight back bend. And release that. Press your hands down into the mat. Shifting your weight back, straightening your front leg, flexing your foot. We'll just do a few little rocks here. So kind of like pointing and flexing your foot. And we'll shift our weight back into our left left foot. Tuck your right toes underneath. Come up into high lunge. And shifting our weight onto our left foot, coming back into forward fold. Halfway left again. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping our left foot back this time. Bringing our left knee down. Lifting our arms up to the sky. On an inhale, lengthen your spine. On an exhale, reach over to the right. Stretching that left side of your body, that left hip flexor. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, take a slight back bend. And release all of that down, shifting our weight back onto our left leg, flexing and pointing our right foot. Good, shift back onto your right leg, tuck your left toes, coming into forward fold, halfway lift again, exhale, forward fold. We're going to step or hop back into a plank pose and slowly lower all the way down through chaturanga coming into a dog and pressing back into downward dog now from here pressing into the ground pressing your body away from it tuck your tailbone underneath roll forward shifting into a plank position keeping our abdominals at gate engaged shift back into downward dog we'll do that again tucking our tailbone rolling through engaging our abdominals pressing the ground away shift back into downward dog good two more times roll through and press back roll through press back last time roll through and stay here now you can either hold a plank position here or we're going to repeat that elbow to knee flow that we did earlier in our tabletop position, but in plank position. This is pretty challenging, so if you want to just stay here in plank, that is a-okay. We will lift our right leg up and our left arm out. If you want to stay here, that's good too. If you need more of a challenge, we'll flow. So bringing our elbow to our knee and back up. Elbow to knee. And back out, one more, back out, and coming back into plank. Press back into downward dog, take a mini rest. One breath here, and we'll shift back into plank position. This time lifting our left leg up, and our right arm out. Inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, and exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, and exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, place everything down. Now we're going to come into a side plank. So bring your right hand to the center of your mat, shift your weight, rotate your hips open, reaching your left arm up to the sky. We'll hold here for three breaths. Really arching through that right side, lifting our hips up, engaging that bottom leg, and on an exhale, bring your hand back down to the mat. Shift back into a plank. And we'll repeat on the left side. So bring your left hand to the center. Rotate onto that left foot. Reaching your right arm up to the sky. And breathe here. Really pressing through that left hand. 
making sure not to lock out your left elbow, but it is staying engaged. Inhale on and exhale, bring your right hand down to the mat, and we'll come into a forearm plank and hold here for three breaths. Really engaging that abdominal, scooping it up and in. And on the next exhale, bring your knees down to the mat, untuck your toes, and relax all the way down. Coming up into a cobra. And breathe here. Feel free to take a twist, taking your gaze over your right shoulder, and the other way, and back center. And lower down. Now we're going to come into locust pose. So squeeze your legs together so it's like a fin, like it's one leg. Bring your arms down to the mat, palms face down. We're going to inhale, lift up. We're going to spread everything out to a 45 degree angle, arms and legs. Squeeze everything back in and lower down. Again, lift up, reach everything out to a 45 degree angle, coming back in, squeezing everything in, and coming back down. Reaching up, extend out, come back to center, and down. Two more times. Up, out, come back to center, and down. Last time, up, reach out, come back to center, hold here, squeezing, our legs to our midline, reaching our hands to our feet, lift up a little further, and exhale, lower down. Good. Press back into child's pose. You deserved it. Time for our cool down, stretching out our back, taking nice deep breaths. Feel free to walk the hands over to the right or left side to stretch out the sides of our back. Sometimes I feel this in my lat and that feels amazing. And over to the other side. And back center. Shifting back into tabletop, we'll come onto our seat. We'll bring one leg out to the side, one leg in. Doesn't matter which, just whichever is natural. Reach our arm up and come into a side stretch, bringing your left hand over front of your left leg. If you want to take this into a deeper stretch, reach for your toes. Hook your peace fingers around your big toe and reach your other arm through to pull your body open and then open your chest up to the sky and breathe here and last breath on an inhale release your hand reach up to the sky exhale bring it down switch sides now so bring your other leg in extend your other leg out reach your arm up and take a side bend reaching that bottom arm to the leg. Now if you took the bind on the first side, I would suggest doing it on this side as well. So hooking your peace fingers around your big toe, reaching your bottom arm through like you're threading a needle and opening your chest up to the sky. And remember to listen to your body. If this is too much of an intense stretch, back off. It's okay if you are here, here, or even here, if this is a stretch for you, that is great. Keep, stay there. On an inhale, reach your arm up. Exhale, bring it down. We'll swing around again, so we're long ways on our mat. Rolling down. You're going to come into either a bridge pose or a wheel. You take your pick. So we'll press into our, into our feet, into our heels. Lift our hips up off the mat. And if you want to stay here, then that is good. Stay here and breathe. If you want to come into a wheel, bring your hands 
by your ears, pressing into your hands, pressing into your feet, lift your hips up, and come into full wheel. Feel free to shift your weight forward and back to center. Walk your feet in a little bit more if you need to. Really press into your feet and hands, lifting your center up. Taking a few deep breaths here. And when you're ready, walk your feet back out if you walk them in. Bending your elbows and your knees, tucking your chin and lowering all the way down. Good, hug your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side. Extend your left leg down, hug your right knee into your chest. And bring it across your body into a spinal twist. And breathe here. Gaze over your right shoulder if that feels comfortable. And come back to center. Squeezing your knee in one more time. And switch legs. Bring your left knee into your chest. Hugging it tight. Rocking from side to side. And bring it across your body into that spinal twist. Reaching your left arm out to the side. Gazing over your left fingertips. And breathe here. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, bring it back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. And rocking onto your favorite side, coming up into seated position. The same one we started in. Gathering in all that energy which we just created in our core, bringing it down to your heart center. Taking a moment here to thank yourself for your practice and what you did today. The light in me honors and appreciates the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, this is just a small portion of the full core strength flow that I will have in my new program coming soon. Subscribe to my newsletter with the link in the description below. This way, you know exactly when the program is going to launch. You'll also get free recipes. You'll know when I post any blogs and you'll know when new yoga flows come out like this one. I hope you guys have a great week.